Every pregnant woman feels like she's getting big. But if you're pregnant with two or more babies, you'll really be growing fast. Be prepared by learning the signs of a multiple birth. Each woman may have slightly different symptoms. But the most common symptoms of multiple pregnancy, 1. Uterus is larger than expected for the dates in pregnancy. 2. More morning sickness. 3. Greater appetite. 4. Too much weight gain, especially in early pregnancy. 5. Baby's movements felt in different part time. The provider may make the diagnosis with a health history, physical exam, and the following tests. Pregnancy blood testing. Levels of human chorionic gonadotropin may be quite high with multiple pregnancy. Based on family history, pregnancy blood testing, levels of alpha phytoprotein, and the use of ultrasound, multiple pregnancy can be diagnosed. Ultrasound. This is an imaging test that uses high-frequency sound waves to create images of blood vessels, tissues, and organs. Ultrasounds can be done with a vaginal probe, transducer, especially in early pregnancy. Or they can be done with an abdominal probe in later pregnancy. Multiple pregnancy is a pregnancy when two or more fetuses develop in a mother's womb. Heterotopic pregnancy with one or more embryos developing outside uterine cavity is also called multiple pregnancy. An ultrasound examination should be performed between 11 plus 2 and 14 plus 1 weeks of gestation, CRL 45 to 84 mm, to assess viability, gestational age and chirionicity. The largest baby should be used to calculate the estimated date of delivery for the pregnancy. Multiple gestations can also be diagnosed as early as six weeks of pregnancy. Chirionicity assessment is based upon the number of placental masses, the appearance of the membrane attachment and membrane thickness, ideally before 14 weeks gestation. The ultrasound technician receives the patient into the ultrasound examination room and onto the examination bed. Then with patient on a supine position, an ultrasound gel is applied midline at the lower abdomen, with the probe maker pointing towards the patients. The scan begins. Scan through the uterus, left right, up down, noting clearly any portion of the intrauterine gestational sac and the number of fetus. Conduct a search of the adnexa, rolling out presence of ectopic pregnancies. A photographic record should be placed in the patient's hospital held records, documenting the ultrasound appearance of the membrane attachment to the placenta, and an electronic hard drive record stored. The fetuses should be assigned nomenclature, that is, upper and lower, right or left, and this should be clearly documented in the case notes to ensure consistency throughout pregnancy. As the frequency of multiple pregnancies is increasing, every obstetrician has to know that the correct, accurate, and timely determination of gestational age, chirionicity, and amnionicity has significant importance in the management of a multiple pregnancy. Surveillance, complications, outcome, morbidity, and mortality are totally different in a monochorionic and a dichorionic pregnancy. We will classify them into two periods. The early first trimester, including the 10 first weeks of gestation and the late first trimester, including the period between the 10th and 14th week of gestation. Finally, we will review some interesting, although infrequent, cases from the literature, showing that pitfalls in the determination of both chirionicity and amnionicity exist, and highlighting the importance of being aware of their subsistence. It is a well-established fact that multiple pregnancies occur more commonly nowadays than a few decades ago. The progress of reproductive technologies and in vitro fertilization has played a major role in this increase. In fact, twins comprise about 3% of all live births in the United States. As we speak about history, the vast majority of multiple pregnancies that occurred in the past were diagnosed during the intrapartum period. Today, as the use of ultrasound has become a routine in daily medical practice, multiple pregnancies are diagnosed in the initial ultrasound scan. Beyond the diagnosis of early multiple pregnancy, ultrasound scan is more than necessary to define chirionicity, amnionicity, and gestational age. 
We will also focalize the discussion on twin pregnancies, as they comprise greater than 98% of multiple pregnancies, and the vast majority of studies today include twin pregnancies. Nonetheless, we will review some cases from the literature that show that situations can be a little more complicated and may lead to a false diagnosis of gerionicity and amnionicity, in order to highlight that when we manage multiple pregnancies, we have to be alert about exceptions despite being infrequent. Thanks for watching. This video is dedicated to God Almighty. If you found it interesting, then do well to subscribe.